Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, I think it's time that I did some work on the gardener's cottage, although uh, I'm still waiting for uh, the bank card from my new French bank account. So I can't access the GoFundMe money at the minute to, to buy materials, that, which is what I wanted to do and to start working inside. So I'm just trying to think of jobs that I can do you know, that need doing now really so that they're done later on. And one thing that I really need to do is these doors. Now this is a lovely solid front door and, and the windows, they're in quite good condition. But as you can see, there's not a speck of paint on this part here. There's still some here, but it's coming off. Um, and because it's the end of the summer, these um, doors and windows have had months and months to dry out. So they're nice and dry, which is it's the ideal condition that you want to paint them in. So. Um, if I leave these doors and windows till the end of the year when I'm, you know, planning on moving in, um, they're going to get damp again. You know, they're going to absorb water, the rain, the humidity, and it's not a good idea to paint damp doors and windows. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, although it's not ideal, I'm, I'm going to take this front door off today, um, get all of the old paint off of it, uh, make some repairs where I need to, um, give it a coat of primer, and then um, think about painting it. And obviously I bought the paint last week, so uh, I've got all of that now and I know what colour they're going to be. They're going to be a nice green, which is the amble side colour, which, is, um, which was a paint colour used in Beatrix Potter's bedroom. So I think it's perfect for this place. Um, first thing I need to do is actually get this door off and it's quite heavy and um, put it on some trestles and then get sand in. So um, we'll see how it goes. So before I take the front door off, I'm actually going to take a look at these windows because something that I haven't really paid much attention to. I mean, I've given them a glance before. They, they seem okay, but uh, it's probably a good, good idea to see before we start what needs doing. See, they're not too bad, actually. They are a bit, they're, they're you know, any another year of uh, no paint and, and, a, and a lot of rain on these, they probably won't last much longer. But I think they can be saved as they are. Um, in fact, I might just, I think they just lift off. Let's just try and take one off and get a better look at it. Well, that was easy. <laughs> so, if we just put this down here. Yeah, you can see here that the, the wood is starting to rot, uh, but it can be saved. Now there's a product that me and Billy use quite a lot. We've used it on the windows in the chateau and it's, um, it's like a polyester um, putty and it, it comes in two parts. You have like the main putty and then you mix it with um, peroxide, which causes a chemical reaction, which um, makes it harden in literally about 20 minutes. So, um, it, you know, obviously I could, use, I could use linseed putty, but it'll take ages to dry. Um, so what I'll do is, once I've done the door, I'll probably take the first pair of windows off, um, take out any putty that's um, loose, um, I probably, I mean, when me and Billy do it in the chateau, we actually use wooden beading, um, but because I'm going to do this traditionally in here and they're only small windows, I'll probably just use old fashioned linseed putty to repair this. Um, the bottom might need a bit of repair, but um, yeah, that, they, they're actually not, not that bad condition really. They can be repaired. Um, I mean, it'd be nice to have a new set of double glazed oak windows, but they'll cost a fortune. So maybe later on we can do that, but for now, We'll just repair them, tidy them up, and as long as they keep the wind out and the rain, we won't have any problems. I can't get them back on now. It's more difficult than you, uh, than you think. There we go. Actually, that's fine. There you go, look. They'd be lovely with a coat of paint on. They'll last another 50 years. <laughs> okay, well, the first thing I need to do is get this door off, uh, and I can't paint it in here because it's too dusty. Uh, oh, that would just ruin the nice new paint. So I'm gonna have to take it off and take it outside and put it on some trestles. But it's quite heavy to lift off by myself. Um, so I'm gonna need some help. But I might have just the man uh, on standby, ready to help me lift it off. So let's see if he's, Ryan? <laughs> Hello. Were you waiting there the whole time? No. Well, I need you to help me lift this door off. Could you, you can help me? Yeah. Um, but what I'm going to have to do is, um, if I put the trestles up first, uh, and then we, when we lift it up, we can take it straight out and put it on. So if we put these on, uh, out somewhere. Where do you think it's the best place to sand it off? Yeah. I, don't really, I don't really want any dust like blowing on it like while it's being painted, so. I think probably over here, actually. Although it's a bit windy for the microphone. 
Mm. If I set them up here, if you, do you want to grab one of those? Yeah. I think here's a good place. Like I can put the extension lead from the cottage next door. So one here. I think that's good. The door's probably not actually that long, is it? Yeah, it's about yeah, it right. Looks all right. Right, should we lift this door off then? Let's do it. It literally just lifts off. It's not um, right. it's not screwed on or anything to the hinges, so. Gotcha. Um Ready? On three? Yeah, but I can't grip it this from this side, that's the problem. I can't. Oh, hang on, hang on, let's switch, let's switch. You sure? Yeah, and I'll just uh, I'll find a way. I'll okay. get from underneath. Okay, right. Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh, give it a wiggle. Wiggle it. Oh, ah. there we go. Did you catch your fingers? No, I'm good. Right. Um, right, come to you. Like that, yeah. Yeah. Try not to break the glass. Oh, Although I could replace it, but in an emergency, but I'd rather not. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got it? <laughs> Drop it, Ryan, please. Oh. I don't yeah. want it on the glass there, like that. Does it seem stable? Yeah. It's not going to fall over. No, it's good. I think it's good. Right, let's get a sander. But I need an extension lead first. So we need power. Right. So I think there's one next door. All right, I'll get let's it. Let's go have a look. If we go through this door, Ryan, I think there's one. Look, there's one here. Perfect. There's one here. So we're just gonna have to steal it. It should be in here somewhere. Haha. Right. -ha. Extension lead. Yeah, but where's the other end of it? It's plugged in in the chateau. It's already plugged on. Oh, yeah, my, my dad's been using okay, it. Sorry, there's... no, no, I got confused. The electrician hasn't been yet. It's a little bit complicated for me. <laughs> All this electric stuff. I, I, hear, I hear your 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 YouTube channel's got six thousand subscribers. I'd only asked for seven hundred. I might have to take some of them back, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I can't believe it. I'm still in shock, to be honest. So when's your next video out? Uh. You Tomorrow, could, maybe? You're going to have to make one, aren't you? Oh, I am, yeah. Are you going to film it today? Yeah, I am. Why not? OK. I'm excited. Are you film it here? Or are you going to do no, something else? No, I'm going to a uh, manor house from the 1800s. From the 19th century? Yes. And that's your, is that your grandmother's house? It is. It is, yeah. Well, yeah. well I can't wait to see that one. <laughs> <laughs> Will it reach? Is there enough length on it, do you think? Yeah, it should be. Yeah, it's definitely going to reach. Well, we didn't have much to spare. That's perfect. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I've got, I can plug my sander in and uh, the dust won't go. Well, it's probably going to go everywhere because I can't put a vacuum cleaner on the end of it. It's, just, it's outside. So <laughs> <laughs> I'll wear a mask. Yeah. And, uh... Um, I've got everything now. I don't need protection gloves. I'm not really doing, there's nothing sharp. No. If I get a splinter, it's my own fault. Oh no, um, don't do But that, I've got a mask, I've got goggles, so no dust in my eyes, no dust in my lungs. Right. And uh, yeah, well, I suppose I'll just get on with it then. I'm going to leave you to it because you don't need me anymore. Yeah, go and film a video because uh, right, your, your, um, your 6,000 subscribers <laughs> need more videos. You've only got two. I know. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> just keep making videos. Yep. That's all you've got to do. Just keep all making right, them. They'll, 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 um, they'll improve as you get yes. more experience. So. Yes. OK. Well, go. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, cheers. I'll... Thanks for your help. That's all right. I'll see you, uh, I'll see you later. See you later. OK, then. Bye, then. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I've got a bag of goodies here. Sandpaper. I've got 80 grits um, and 120. They're usually good to start off with a, an, a rougher one, like an 80, and then finish it with 120. I mean, if, you, um, if I was to sand this door any higher than a 120 grit, it's actually going to close the wood grain uh, and the primer and the paint. It's not going to get a good key. It's not going to soak into the wood like slightly, so it's not going to stick as well. So if you're ever sanding wood to paint or varnish, don't ever go any higher than 120. Just a little tip for you. Otherwise, it won't stick properly. So we've got our... Amble side, uh, Tom's oil eggshell that we bought the other day. Um, I've also got the, um, the sage and onions, which is the garden gate color from Beatrix Potter's Cottage, but I'm not gonna use that on the door, so we don't need that. And I also popped in, um, I popped back into the paint shop and I got something else. 
something I've never tried before. Um, obviously I've used primer before, but I've never used this one. And this is an aluminium, aluminium, or if you're in America, I think you call it aluminum. It's the same, it's just letter different, uh, a letter difference, I mean. Um, so basically, yeah, this is a aluminium wood primer. I've never used that before. Um, and this is really good for bare wood. Um, and it's good for resinous wood as well. So things like, you know, the, um, especially uh, oak. Sometimes you get like the, the tannins from the wood. Um, it's, I'm not sure what it is, like an oil or something. Um, sometimes it can leach through the bare wood and stain your paint, like a bit of a brown. Uh, it's happened to me a few times before. This will stop it. This is a, a, an oil-based um, wood primer. Uh, and it's got a slight sort of salmony pink color to it. It's weird because I sometimes when you sand back old doors and windows you do find this old sort of pink primer underneath and I wonder if this is the same stuff I'm not sure um, but this is a slightly more modern formula sanding discs for our sander sander as it's oil-based paint I'm gonna need white spirit to clean my brushes so we've got that and I bought three lovely new brushes um, obviously we've got brushes in the chateau but I want to kind of have a set of tools for here and there as well. So we're gonna use these and that's it. Um, I don't need this stuff now. So I'm gonna put the paint back in the bag um, and just get sanding. Try and sand as much of this old paint off as possible. Problem is though here, um, the bottom of this door, this is what happens with old doors and windows. It's always the bottom that rots first because obviously the water runs down and sits at the bottom. You usually find the tops of old windows and doors are, are pristine they just need a bit of paint um, but this is going to need some attention um, I mean ideally I'd like to replace this bottom piece but I haven't got a carpenter here with me today so what I'm going to do is any bits that are rotten I'm going to sand it back and, and just sort of um, use some polyester putty that I talked about earlier to try and fill any gaps but the problem is I don't have any um, and um, my, I've asked my mum to pick me up. She's gone out. Um, my mum's gone out today. I've asked her to pick some up for me. Um, but she's not going to be back for at least five hours. So I might have to sand the whole door off. I might have to just prime the whole lot, but just leave the bottom. So uh, I'm, that definitely needs some um, filler. If you can see here, um, it's, it's, it's rotten, basically. Um, but it can be repaired. There's a big gap here that's going to have to be filled with a putty and sort of smoothed off and sanded. But I think it's fine. In worst case scenario, um, I'll get a carpenter to make a new bottom piece for this door. Um, but for now, I think it's fine. As long as it's sealed and the water's not soaking into it, then I think we'll be fine. Right, time to get sanding. So let's get rid of my paint out of the way. Do some actual work, stop talking. <laughs> Mask on. Ooh, I'll take my hat off now. You're gonna see my messy hair. All right, let me go. You probably can't hear anything I'm saying right now. <laughs> there we go. We're fully protected. Nobody can complain.
actually good news uh, obviously it's quite windy today um, something arrived in the post just uh, just recently literally about 10 minutes ago and it's a little fluffy thing that goes on the microphone so that the hopefully you won't be able to hear the wind noise anymore which is great um, but on on the um, bad news is uh, that it's actually about to rain and I've just sanded this door I don't want it getting wet so Ryan's gone um, so I'm gonna have to take the door in um, Maybe I'll just cover it over for now and see if the rain passes. I'm just going to try and find a plastic sheet. If I can find one. Can't find a plastic sheet. What I might have to do is just, is just carry the door inside the cottage and sand it in there. I mean, it's not ideal, but I'm going to wear a mask, so I won't breathe any dust in, but... It's just a bit dark in there, so let's try and get this door in. <laughs> it's very heavy, that's the problem. Right. There we go. This could go, go terribly wrong. No, we're okay. Extremely heavy, extremely heavy, not easy to carry. Let's just put it here for a minute. Right. There's Ryan when you need him. I don't know what this door is made of. It's definitely not oak. It's the wrong colour, but it's very heavy, so it must be some sort of similar hardwood. There we go. Doors in. If I put it back on the trestles, uh, easier said than done. Right, probably best if I put it near the window so I can see. Right. There you go. So if I drop it and smash the glass, well, that's it. I'm done filming for the day. Oh, why is it so Lifting it's okay, it's getting it on the trestle that's the problem. I've got an idea. I'll do what I did earlier in reverse. Lower it onto the trestle. The top's not heavy really at all, it's the, the bottom of it. Ah, good idea. Lower it down. Into there. Into there. Let's just hope that this does it. Tip over. Not bad. Haven't smashed it yet. Touch wood. Fine, done. Wasn't that difficult. <laughs> well, we got the door in just in time because it started to rain. So I'm just going to have a quick coffee break uh, and then I'll come back and finish sanding that door off. I've also got to find some, some way to light this room because there's no lights in here, but I'm fine. We'll get it sanded off today. We might get it painted today if we're lucky. Thank you.